Time Attack Reviews. Show. Ready? Go! A disappointing, illogical, major pain in the goddamn ass. The good world, and I'm really rich in here, is the beautiful art style. The game's visuals are breathtaking, and I can't help but compare it to games like Alien Hominid in their own 2D cartoony way. Also, this game has an interesting multiple character, for the lack of a better word, thing, that resembles Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. You find certain characters on the field, and they can give you new abilities, such as a ground pound, a double jump, a wall jump, a charge attack, and being able to ride currents of wind upwards. I would have thought the latter was an innate ability for your character, seeing as it's a bird man, but I digress. The battle world, Jesus Christ. The life system makes zero goddamn sense. You see, despite this game being a 2D side scroller, its ridiculous life system doesn't work like one. The fact that losing lives in this game is peace easy notwithstanding, you don't gain them back by collecting items on the field. Instead, you gain all of your lives back by passing through a checkpoint. That's right, you can be at zero lives but have no fear, reach a checkpoint and back to five you go, rendering the whole life system completely pointless in terms of challenge and game structure. Speaking of which, there's a number of sections where you'll need to from a giant shadow mouth chasing you. These segments are so unforgiving and so reliant on trial and error that they're borderline bullshit, especially because there are collectibles spawned all across these sections. Should you take too long taking that one butterfly or that baby along the way, the next thing you know you'll be showering in this thing's castor juice. And about those collectibles, let's be honest, what's the point? There's no reward for getting all of those butterflies or rescuing all those babies, no new moves, you don't unlock any new worlds by doing so, nothing! This game only serves to open up avoiding your soul by scattering collectibles that are nearly impossible to collect at a 100%. All in all, Shu is a very pretty, time-wasting, boring, pointless experience that I really can't see myself recommending to anyone. Do yourself a favor and stay away from this. Next time on World of Schneider.